Dear child of God, is there something you are asking the Lord to make happen? Is there something you are asking the Lord to do speedily in your life? Is there something you are telling God night and day, please, I want you to make my life become better because of this? Is there something you are looking upon to God for saying, this is the areas I want you to visit me. This is how I want you to show up in my life. Dear child of God, is there something you are saying, Oh God, make yourself visible in my life through these expectations of mine. Dear child of God, know this today. Your expectations will not be cut short. Keep your focus on God. Keep your mind stayed on God because God will make it happen. It may have lingered. It may be taking too long. But the Lord has said already, that it will satisfy you with good things. He said the lions may grow weak and hungry in Psalm 34 verse 10. He says, but those who seek the Lord, my God. He says, those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. He says, those who are seeking the face of God will not lack the things they are expecting to receive. Dear child of God, did you stop seeking? Because the situations kept on pressing you down night and day and you felt it was worthless to pray. You felt it was of no point to keep seeking the face of God. The word of God have clearly stated, it says, those that name the name of the Lord, they shouldn't keep quiet. It says they shouldn't keep silent until it comes through for you. It says, that you should continually press on to him. Dear child of God, keep seeking. Keep asking the Lord to make it happen, for I want to assure you the Lord God that you serve, the God of heaven, the God that knows how to satisfy the needs of his children, he would make it happen. He says the lions may grow weak and hungry. They may become weary. They may become faint for test but it says you keep seeking keep asking for you will not lack any good thing in your life dear child of god god is ever present to meet all of your needs god is ever present to satisfy you god is ever present dear child of god to do all the things that you are asking of him you see, God will pour forth abundance of rain upon your life. And it will cause you to receive your inheritances. He had promised to sustain you. And it will see you through till the very end. You see, God's word has clearly stated in Psalm 68 verse 9. It says, God, you poured out abundant rain on your inheritance. It says, when Israel was weary, it says, you sustained her. Dear child of God, when you become weary, when you become weak, when you become tired, God will sustain you. You see, he said, come to me, all ye that are labored and heavy laden. He says, I will give you rest. He's saying he will sustain you. He's saying he will bring you to the place of peace. He's saying he will make sure you are satisfied with every good thing. The things that you are asking for, the things that you are seeking. He's saying he will make it happen. Don't stop seeking, dear child of God. Don't stop asking. Don't stop calling on God. For he knows that you are needy. For he knows that you want a change in your life. You have been asking the Lord, please come bring restoration. I want to see a change in my marriage. I want to experience upliftment. I want to see breakthroughs. Please come vindicate me. Come turn my story around. Come turn my morning into dancing. Dear child of God, I want to assure you, God will definitely make your joy full. He will show up for you and change everything that ought to be changed. You see, Isaiah 41 verse 17 says, The poor and needy seek water, and there is none. It says their tongue fails for test, but it says, I, Yahweh, will answer them. He says, I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. Dear child of God, have you been seeking? Have you become so poor and needy and you are asking the Lord, please, 
I need you to show up in my life. I've failed many times because things are not working the way they ought to work. I've become weary. I've become tired. I'm testy. I want to see a change. But it seems like it has lingered. He said, I, Yahweh, will answer you. He says, I, your God, will not forsake you. Dear child of God, you are not forsaken. Dear child of God, you are not forsaken dear child of god please say it to yourself today i am not forsaken and god will do it when the time is right he says i the lord will make it happen when the time is right so don't stop calling don't stop seeking do not stop asking open your mouth voice out everything that are pressing in your heart go to him night and day he says, don't stop. Keep calling on me until I make it happen. Until I bring the change that you seek. He said, I will open the rivers on the bare height. He says, and spring in the middle of the valleys. Dear child of God, he says, in the middle of the valleys, it will open the springs of water to you. It will cause there to be blessings in the very place where it seems like you have experienced drought. It will cause your life to be uplifted. It will cause you to receive the blessings that will be beyond your imagination. In the very land where nothing was happening, the Lord told Isaac, So in this land, and that same year, he reaped a hundredfold return because he could listen to God. Everyone will live in that place, their child of God. Nobody saw anything good. No one saw anything good to come from that place. But the Lord told one man, so in this land. Their child of God, keep seeking. Keep asking the Lord to visit you. Keep asking the Lord to show up for you. And in that same place where nothing was happening, God would open the rivers for you. He will cause springs of water to pour forth for you, dear child of God. He said he will make the wilderness a pool of water. This is the word of God. The dry land, he says, he will make springs of water. The place where nothing was happening. He says, for your sake, I will bring a change. For your sake, I will cause there to be a change. For your sake, I will cause you to receive the satisfaction that you need. Every member of your family would experience that change as well. Dear child of God, he says, He satisfies the thirsty and he fills the hungry with good things. This is God's word. God wants to give you good things. What are the good things you have been seeking and asking the Lord to do in your life? Is it marital settlement? He said you will find. You will find a wife that is already meant for you. He says you will not lack these good things. Is it the faithful man you are asking the Lord to bring to your life, dear child of God? He will bring that faithful man your way. Is it upliftment? Is it growth in your business? Is it direction, dear child of God? What is it you have been seeking that the Lord should do in your life? I want to assure you God will do it. He would make it happen. He's not a man that would lie. If he said he will not forsake you, if he said he will sustain you, if he said he will not cause you to fail for test, dear child of God, then he will change everything that ought to be changed in your life. Dear child of God, then you will get a visitation from God that will cause your mouth to be filled with praises and thanksgiving. So go today. Go to God today with your strong reasons, dear child of God. He says, produce your cause, says Yahweh. Bring out your strong reasons, says the King of Jacob. He says, bring forth your strong reasons. Isaiah 41, verse 21. Go to God, letting him know that this is the reason why I need a change. This is the reason why I need a visitation. My family is waiting on you. My marriage is holding on to you because it is only you, O oh God, that can save that marriage. My family needs you right now to make sure we do not break apart. My business is 
I'm waiting for you to see that they will be sustained. My health is looking upon to you to see that there will be a restoration. And that God of heaven, Jehovah Rapha, the one who is the balm in Gilead, will show up for you and it will change everything. Please do not stop seeking. Please do not stop asking. Please do not stop making requests. And I want to assure you, God will cause your mouth to be filled with praises and thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. I know you will come forth testifying of the goodness of God. But please keep seeking. Keep going to Him and say, Lord, do it and take the glory. The places you have experienced struggles, the places you have met holdups in life, you will see a fast lane that the Lord had opened up unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you would enjoy supernatural grace. You would enjoy the bliss of the Lord that will be overflowing all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord himself will multiply grace unto you and he will make everything to work that have not been working in the mighty name of Jesus. Five symbolizes grace and you will see the manifested grace of God upon your business, upon everything that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. That thing that you did not deserve, that thing that you have not been able to work for, that thing that you have not been able to gather all of your life, the Lord himself will bring them to you because he is going to bring you that fulfillment of grace in the mighty name of Jesus. That is an unmerited favor. There are some things you know you did not do anything to receive. Those are the things the Lord will bring to you in this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, in this wonderful fifth month of the year, the Lord will surprise you. He will settle you in your home in the mighty name of Jesus. He will make his grace abound with you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will say I do to that man that he has prepared for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will say I do to that woman that he has set out for you that would make your life beautiful in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, grace will speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus and your confidence will be on that grace in Jesus' mighty name. Like Moses would say in Exodus 33 verse 15, Then Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us from here. Dear child of God, you will be going by the grace of God, by the presence of God, by the leading of God, all through this month, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not make a mistake. You will not take a wrong turn. You will not do anything that will cause you to regret the rest of the year in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not make any blunder this month in the mighty name of Jesus. And from henceforth, every mistake you have made, the Lord will correct each and every one of them for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not do anything this month that will cause you to cry the rest of the year in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not do anything this month that will cause your heart to be burdened for the rest of the year in the mighty name of Jesus. Rather, the things that grace makes available, those are the things that will begin to happen in your life and in your home in the mighty name of Jesus. You will literally feel the presence of Jesus in your home in the mighty name of Jesus. That Jesus that went out and preached truth and grace and made that grace abundant. Dear child of God, you will enjoy it in the mighty name of Jesus. And like Paul enjoyed it, and he would say, I am what I am by the grace of God. I want you to know, dear child of God, that thing that grace makes out of people, it will make out of your life this month in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be that person that God wanted you to be all of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. That thing that you so seek, Grace will accomplish it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace will remain in your home forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, everything that you do, you will see the hand of God upon it in the mighty name of Jesus because His grace is manifesting with you and before you and around you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is your month for upliftment. 
this is your month for harvest this is your month for a turnaround this is your month that your light will break forth this is your month that that health will be restored back unto you this is that month that the lord will bring you peace and rest this is that month that you will dedicate the things that will cause your heart to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. This is that month that you will receive that response for that thing you have been praying for and waiting for for a long time in the mighty name of Jesus. This is that month that you will receive your supernatural connections in the mighty name of Jesus. This is that month that your helper will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is that month that everything that I found with God that is supposed to come to his children, this is that month that they will begin to locate you in the mighty name of Jesus because grace is speaking for you in the mighty name of Jesus. The host of heaven will be all out for you this month in the mighty name of Jesus. On every side, you'll be receiving blessings and favor in the mighty name of Jesus. When you turn to the right, when you turn to the left, you will meet blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. When you go forward, when you go behind, you will receive the blessings in the name of Jesus. You will look up to God and the Lord will drop the blessings upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will look to the ground and you will see the Lord breaking the fallow grounds to bring forth your blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. There will be an overflow that will come to you and to your family in the mighty name of Jesus. And your testimony will be, I am what I am by the grace of God. Your testimonies will be, God's grace have made this possible in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, dear child of God, that mistake that you have made, the grace of the Lord will come to your rescue and will turn everything around. In the mighty name of Jesus, that thing that you were guilty of, grace will speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And it will be as though you did nothing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That thing that could have destroyed your reputation and your name, the grace of the Lord will show up and will turn everything around in the mighty name of Jesus. You will know that you did not deserve it, but God made it possible. You will know that you did not deserve it, but God brought them to your life in the mighty name of Jesus. That man that you never thought would look towards your direction will say hello to you. And this is how things will kickstart this month for you in the mighty name of Jesus. That lady that has been proven difficult this month will be all over you in the name of Jesus because the Lord is settling you and because the Lord is making his grace available unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All you need to do is to say, Lord God, I come to you in humble adoration. I come to you with an open heart. I come to you with a heart ready to receive your fullness of your blessing. Please satisfy me with your abundance. Satisfy me with your grace. These are the words that you should say to God. Tell him, Father, you said that your giftings, your callings, your blessings are without repentance. So every blessing that seems to be hanging wherever they are, every blessing that have not reached me since the time you sent them. Lord, my hands are wide open. I want to receive each and every one of them. Lord, I'm ready to grab my blessings in full in the mighty name of Jesus. Is it a child you have been praying for? This month, you will receive a supernatural conception in the mighty name of Jesus because the grace of the Lord will be abundant to you in the mighty name of of Jesus. Is it money you have been praying for, dear child of God? The Lord will send somebody to be gracious unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody will out of the blues be a blessing to you and you will not know how it happened. All you would say is thank you because you have made this month my month. Oh my God, dear child of God, this is your month for a blessing. You will race into victory. You will run because grace will run with you in the mighty name of Jesus because God is running with you. God is the G that is attached to grace. And dear child of God, all of the race you have been running, the God that you are serving he will come into it and it will become grace in the mighty name of Jesus. All of your race will turn to grace 
in the name of Jesus. And what you were supposed to toy for, you will receive in the platter of gold in the mighty name of Jesus. And then you will know that God has been good to you. And then you will know that God is standing out for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace will announce you in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will enjoy a month of satisfaction in Jesus' name. You will enjoy a month of fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus. You will enjoy a month of plenty in the mighty name of Jesus. You will enjoy a month of bliss in the mighty name of Jesus. And God will satisfy you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.